Yo people, uh, SKG Ireland here. Uh, I made the, I'm making this video because of the stupidity of Samsung not sorting this problem out in the first place. I've spent at least seven hours trying to figure this problem out, and as it turns out, I have. I have indeed figured it out. I've trawled through various forums looked at various videos about you have to have your device rooted you have to type in these certain commands you have to do this and you have to do that and i say fuck to all of that because my brain was fried i've spent hours and hours trying to figure out how to do this and it's basically the mtp usb device failed installation uh, I'm the type of person that doesn't actually quit when it comes to something that I want done because like I got the Samsung software, the Kai or whatever it was to say connect to my like this is basically on the Samsung I have which is a, a Samsung Galaxy Pocket Neo which is uh, the GTS 5310 and uh, everything else worked perfect except the actual uh, connecting the phone to have the storage available and the actual Kaya software to work with it uh, hours and hours and hours of trawling through videos talking about you have to root your device you have to do this well, well screw all that that's not the way it is I found a simplistic simple uh, situation I'm gonna fucking tell you about it now it's it's a uh, now I don't know if this is going to work on all Samsung devices where this happens but it worked for me and I searched for hours I, I didn't even type in the model name of my actual phone I just literally found it through uh, different sources but uh, it's to solve this whole MTP device situation uh, and, and like you could go through Google for hours and hours trying to figure out what the hell is going on this is this is impossible your brain will be fried by the end of it but uh the simplest way of actually doing it and finding out if it is actually a certain problem is windows task manager and the way that that works is if you're on windows 7 which is what i've been using around anyway is press the control button the alt button and the delete button and it will bring up a menu and then you go to the task manager you're going to be in the windows task manager go to the services process and go all the way down to the bottom where the w's are right and you're going to have w u d f s d c which is windows driver foundation you know the framework if your actual uh status on that is stopped which it was for me if it's stopped then this might work for you because this is the reason why this was not working for me this is the reason why I kept getting that stupid driver failure this stupid thing here this was coming up because this was stopped so basically this is what you do to actually fix this whole situation and, and, and save your brain a bit of uh, capacity from being fried right what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up your start menu on your uh, Windows 7 or Windows no matter what Windows it is I don't, really, I don't even know what works on the other Windows this is for Windows 7 for me and most Windows comes with a search a search at the bottom mine doesn't have a search mine has a thing built in I'm just gonna go to my computer to do it you're gonna go to say search for an application no no you're gonna search for an application called regedit there it is there it is regedit all sorts of stuff here regedit right what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the edit and you're gonna go to find and when you go to find you right click it or no right click it forget about right clicking basically what you're gonna type in is w u d f s v c and you're gonna click find and it's gonna take a few minutes for this to actually happen for most people anyway
so let me restart that again for you just remember go to find when you're in reg edit and you type in w u d f s v c and you click find it'll go search in the registry which uh, I would never have thought of this would never have known about it but, uh, once you get to it just keep pressing F3 now this type of thing takes a certain amount of time to actually yeah as the video is recording i'm going to stop but uh i'm going to gonna keep continuing uh the only thing you need to keep doing when it comes to searching for the w u f s d is basically keep pressing f3 just keep searching f3 just do what i do do as i do now when you get to an actual uh, registry called services DLL unload on stop right call reg D word and then all that with normal what you're gonna find when it comes to this reg D word is that it's gonna be classed as number one and that's the reason why it keeps stopping is because it's classed as number one now how you fix that problem is right you right click on your mouse or your laptop where it is no matter where he is you right click it and you go to modify and under the value data if it's number one you change that to two and then you press ok now the way that that is now you've now changed the value that actually stops that service completely and what it'll do is it'll restart it and boot it up as running and when that's finished it will start running again and plug your Samsung no matter what device it is if you've had the problem with that situation since the start uh, just plug it in and it should be fixed 